Look at how messy this is. All that watermelon. It's dripping off. Right now, we're digging out the watermelon for the shop. Watermelon fish Let's oh! go! <laughs> What is going on everyone? Welcome back to another video today. We got a watermelon right here and we are going to be doing a DIY watermelon fish trap and trying to catch exotic aquarium fish in our DIY watermelon fish trap. We got all the supplies right here. Let's set this thing up and get it in the water. So you're probably wondering, how are you going to make a watermelon into a fish trap? Well, that's what all these supplies right here are for. We are going to somehow turn this into a DIY watermelon fish trap. I saw it actually on TikTok and you guys are going to see how it's done today. Let's do it. This is gonna be very, very messy because it's not like carving a pumpkin though. We're gonna make it happen. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, as you can see, I was just saying it's gonna be messy. Watermelon seed thing went up my nose. Wow. Alrighty, well, it's now time to start carving this thing out. Let's do it. So pretty much the goal is to get all the red out and leave the green. All oh, that watermelon. And now guys, this watermelon is not gonna go to waste. At the end of this video, we're gonna take the remaining of the watermelon and bring it over to Paul's house and let his farm animals eat it. Look at that. Oh yeah. And if you guys don't remember, but about a year ago, we did a pumpkin fish trap and it was a success. We actually put a pumpkin out, made it into a fish trap, and we ended up catching a bunch of little aquarium fish in it. So hopefully now that it's a little different watermelon. Maybe we can catch something in this. That would be cool. I definitely know it's possible because like I was telling you before, I saw someone on TikTok that did this and they ended up catching a whole bunch of like turtles, crabs. It was really, really cool. But we are going to be doing the salt water edition now. Look at all this watermelon. <laughs> oh my gosh. We are making a mess. So a little update on the watermelon. We are almost there, probably about 95%. We got a little more red left in there. But as you can see, the goal is pretty much the just make it this color, the whole inside, the green. Then we'll carve the side and we should be set to go. I mean, dude, I think we're there. I really do. Got a little more. That is it right there. Watermelon is all dug out. We got a hollow watermelon right here. Now, the next step is to cut the hole on the outside. Where we're going. Boom, just like that. Hoo -hoo -hoo. Now you're probably wondering, what happens if the fish just swim in? Well, that is what these toothpicks are here for. And what we're gonna do is close it off on the top of the toothpicks and then make like a hole that goes from bigger to smaller as the fish goes into the trap. So just like that, but we're gonna do the whole top. So then the fish can't escape. As of right now, that looks pretty sick. And basically the purpose of this is obviously to block the fish from escaping from the top. And then we're gonna kind of do something similar to the hole on the outside, but they're gonna be going in. And I'm gonna show you guys. We gotta trim it up a little bit just so this is not all sticking out. That is sick. That is so sick. So we kind of want it to be like right there and do the whole outside. And eventually you're gonna, like I said, this is my first time doing it. So I don't know exactly how it's gonna come out, but we're gonna try our best. Kind of see what I'm getting to here. I'm pretty much gonna do this process around the whole hole here. And then once we're done, we'll pick the camera back up so you guys can see how it came out. Oh, really? Where are you from? North Carolina. Oh, you came all the way from? Yep. No I'm way. Fishing down here, and I'm like, I got a fish here. Yeah, it's a pretty awesome spot. We're doing a watermelon fish shop right now. Oh, is there a bunch? You, got, you caught some? Let's see them. Look at that. I caught them on the bottom. Look at this. That is beautiful. Look at that fish right there. Awesome. Nice meeting you, dude. So that was pretty cool. We had one of our subscribers out here doing the same thing that we pretty much do. We got the idea from watching the videos and he's actually from North Carolina. He came all the way down here just to catch aquarium fish and pretty much live like the Jupiter life. So if you guys are ever out and you see me, don't be afraid to come up and say hi. Literally come up, we get a picture, say hi, and it will be a fun time. But anyways, we got a fish trap to get back to. So let's get this thing in the water and try to catch some cool aquarium fish. You want some watermelon? Look at this. We got a little squirrel right here. See if he wants some watermelon. Here, bud. I think he's eating a french fry right now. Oh, he's munching that french fry. Was that him? Oh my gosh, he's eating a watermelon. The squirrel is eating the watermelon. No way. <laughs> well, have you ever seen a squirrel just hang by his feet? He's eating a french fry right now, just big chilling. He's like on the tree like this, french fry in his mouth beach in the background, he's living his life. All right, so right here we got a rope and we're gonna tie this to the watermelon just so it doesn't go anywhere. We got a lot of current out here, so like I said, we're gonna tie this to the watermelon so it can't drift down in current. 
What we're gonna do is probably just tie it to these stakes right here. All right, now you, you know what the good part about these watermelon fish traps and you know fish traps like this? Is if I was ever stuck on an island, let's just say I was, I think I would be able to survive. Would you say? I mean, look at this. This came out pretty darn good. If I, I would obviously need a couple like tools, but um, if I had those tools, I would definitely be surviving. You guys like the watermelon fish trap? So a little DIY, we're gonna try to catch some cool fish with it. Thank you. Let's do this trap, boys. Look at all these birds, everything. We're gonna try to find a good location right now to put this trap. We're basically looking for where there's the most fish at. And along these rocks, we got a whole bunch of little aquarium fish. And look at these birds. I'm going in. I think I'm gonna just place it. See all those little aquarium fish right there? All of them swimming through the rocks. You got little sergeant majors, little gobies, it looks like. Even some puffer fish all around. Holy crap. There's a lot of puffer fish around. I'm honestly so stoked on how this came out. I mean, look at this. For a little DIY, we made this in about 30 minutes. It came out amazing. And the coolest part is I saw the same exact trap on TikTok. I pretty much made a replica of it. And we're going to try it out ourselves now. Watermelon fish trap is going in. Now, is it going to sink? All right, so we're probably going to have to lodge it into these rocks because it floats a little. But that's okay. We're just going to take... A little rock and then kind of close it in, put it on top of the trap. Dude, look at that. That's a perfect location. We got the whole of the trap sticking out right there so everything can kind of swim into it. Then we got a big rock on the top to keep it in place. We're going to give this trap about an hour. Then we're going to come back and see if we have anything in it. Alrighty, boys. It is time to check our fish trap, our watermelon fish trap, and see if we caught something in it. And if we did, this is going to be the most legendary fish trap on YouTube. I promise you guys that. Oh yeah, dude, look at all these fish around it. Look at all these fish around the trap. Bro, there's literally schools of fish around the trap right now. Hopefully we have something in here. Like I said, guys, this is the first time we ever did a DIY watermelon fish trap. So we're gonna see if we caught anything. I like how it stays in place. Can't see. It's all full of water. David, if we caught something in here, I'm gonna it's full of water. It's full of water. Oh my god. I can't see. I think it's still something. No, you didn't. I think I see something. Let's go! We got something! No we got no something! No Come here! Come here! No yes. Come on! Yo. Here we go! Let's oh. go! <laughs> Dude, a puffer fish! Look at that! Then we got a little pinfish right here. Oh my gosh in a DIY watermelon fish trap, dude. So right here, we got a little rockfish or a goby, a little pinfish, which is an awesome bait fish, and then to top it off, an awesome little leopard puffer fish. Look at how pretty that fish is right there. Dude, that's sick. Dude, on that's a watermelon. Sick. Everyone today's like been saying, good luck. Oh, like they didn't think it was gonna work. Look at that. We just proved them all wrong. Watermelon fish trap. We're gonna release these guys, but look at how sick that is. Literally, fish in a watermelon. So we are gonna be releasing these guys. We're not taking them home. Here they go. First off, we got the little rock fish. Really, really pretty fish right there. There he goes. Right back into the rocks he goes. Pinfish. There he goes, also back into the rocks. And then to top it off, my favorite, the little leopard puffer fish. So cool, dude. I mean, that's epic. There he goes. To live another day. Give me some, David. Give me some. <coughs> Watermelon fish trap was a success. We caught puffer fish in it, a goby, and then also a little pinfish. Literally off a DIY watermelon fish trap. You gotta remember guys, this is a fruit and we just put it together and somehow caught fish out of it. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. This was honestly one of my favorite videos I've ever filmed, just seeing everything going on, fish blowing up, birds di diving, and then to top it off, making our own trap out of literally scratch and then catching fish in it. So like I said, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Also comment down below what your favorite fish that we caught today was and if you want to continue seeing more of these traps. With that being said, we'll see y'all in the next one. See ya! Yeah, yeah. Wake up in the morning, I go get a check. Following my dreams like I'm possessed. If it down on myself, so much that is my Making sacrifices so my family won't stress. Gotta 